What's going on, guys, and welcome back to Foundry, a game you guys seem to be loving. It's very nostalgia to the people who used to, like I said, play Minecraft way back in the day on the Feed the Beast and Tech It. Me included. But last time, we got some rods being made. We got some plates being made. Then placed down our research facility, which has quite a large tech tree, if I do say so myself. But also, we placed down some solar panels which connects to the transformer. And then the transformer powers this floor right here, which powers everything that is on it. Because for a very short time, we was using biomass. Well, technically, we are still using it. I just don't have that connected up here yet. I just need to get the foundation from here to over there. So then that, so there will them solar panels will then power this machine up here. So then we can remove that one there because who needs biomass? And you guys have spoken. You guys want me to use the day and night cycle. Well, the majority of votes do. And you don't mind. And you said it wasn't that dark at nighttime and was kind of visible. So now that decision's out of the way, we can see that on here, the sun angle is at full 66. It's moving through the nighttime, but does mean we are going to run out of power at night. So what we need to do is make some batteries, but we need to research that first. So without further ado, Let's crack on with today's video, and as always, keep smiling, and let's do this. So first of all, let's grab some rods, and then we'll head up this way, and then we'll go and grab some um, plates as well. But what I'm doing, I'm kind of leaving the biomass just for there right now, um, especially down there, just because um, that whole thing wasn't being powered. It didn't, because, it, you know, it was nighttime a minute ago, so I could not even access the items that was in here. So... Wait, did we get storage last time? We got a set. Oh, we did. We got a logistics container. So if I was to put that at the side, it will then go straight. Interesting. So maybe we build two of them and we'll build it here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to get one, two, three, four. And I need to just put these here for now because these are actually like topping up to 200 like super quick. And I don't have time to keep coming over here and grab them. I may as well just put them into a storage bin. Um, so let's grab uh, the storage, and we're going to just go with... I need to access that, so let's just kind of put it here. And then we'll flip you around, put you there, and then we can go into our inventory and then grab you. And then I can just put you there, right? But what I do need to... Oh, I always keep doing that. I need you to be output... And then grab a couple of belts and just put you there, right? There we go. The rods are going in. So let's do this on this side. Actually, I need to extend this floor a little bit. Bring you out. Just place you there. And then I just need to do the conveyor belts. And then we should be golden for plates. Actually, no, because I need to put you as an output. There we go. Plates going in. Nice. How much biomass have you got left? You got 66. Okay. Oh, the storage boxes allows you to lock spaces up. Nice. I like that. So what my plan is right now is just basically just get what we need to do for these. Wait, wait, wait it's in here, isn't it? In science packs. I want to get these. I'm just going to handcraft these for now. But I do want to get them up and automated. Um, But that does mean... I will need to bring the plates down here. And we're going to need to extend this foundation out by like a lot. And then bring the foundation down this way as well. So we can get that automated, well, powered. But I want to get these done before. Because it go, otherwise, if it goes nighttime, we're going to be out. Like, we're going to be out of power. Like, I need to buy a mass up and running uh, for that. So we can make... How many can we make right now? 18. Let's make as many as we can. And I believe we're probably just going to be out of something. Um, which I'm going to guess more plates. What does it take to make these again? Technum rods. Hey. Actually, we've got plenty of rods. So it's just plates we need. And they're taking ages. All right, there we go. I've now got 30 being crafted. But I've already got some on me anyway. So now I just need to basically wait for these to be done. And yeah. So with the power of editing, you guys can, well, skip. Me making these research things. And then we can get batteries, put them down, and then we're going to be good through the night time. And then I'll just put them into there. And bada bing, bada bosh, research complete, batteries small. So, they should now be in here. 
but they need oh guess what more plates and it's a good job we have now put our container down right right so now we should be able to build some batteries i'm gonna put down four so let's get four made and then let's go and put them in that general area next to our solar panels and they are actually pretty large i thought they was gonna be a little bit smaller than this maybe i don't think i need this many but i'm always thinking for the fl future right? i was gonna flute you we can we can go with that right kind of go with a little bit of a pathway down here and then obviously we're gonna extend that way so now i just need to get some cable actually no i'm gonna need some of you so the question is does it go to solar panel to battery to i think it does doesn't it let's have a look i think yeah it does it does it goes solar panel battery and then that so what i need to do is remove the wire which i need to right mouse button disconnect power line like that oh god damn it i'm always falling you to the and then to the right i think that is it grid stats solar panels to batteries with four okay and then it goes to the transformer and then transformer to the grid nice now we just kind of need to wait until daytime but let's have a look what other research we can actually do and what's going to be beneficial to us right about now so we've got large containers we've got conveyor distributors which might not be a bad thing to be honest doors inventory size Ooh. Oh, 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 but I really need to actually is start bringing this power over to that grid now and then start bringing that stuff down here via belts, right? So we need to build technically a lot of building blocks. Okay, so I've got quite a few building blocks built. Now I need to take them down here. And try and connect it up to that little marker I've kind of played. Hello? Like there. And then take this all the way along. I'm so glad we can kind of do this and it keeps to the grid as well. Very, very useful. Right, there we go. Job bloody done. That was a pain in the butt. But what I have done is I've actually did what I said I was going to do. Which I actually removed some of the uh, dirt here. And then made like a connector so these bridges. Quit. So it looks a bit more cleaner. But then what I need to do now is I actually need to grab the conveyor belts and take them all the way along here. But before we do that, I need, guess what? More plates. I'm saying that, I did use a lot to make the uh, the actual uh, foundations. So I need quite a few of you. I need a lot. And then I'm going to get you to come out of this storage bin. So I'm going to put down one of you, which I don't have. I can't even make one. Why? Because I need plates and I need machine parts. Eh. Grab you, and then I can build one of you. Perfect. And then I'm going to go from there, and then build a belt out here, and then take it a long way. Is that going to snap to that? It did. Nice. So now we just need to take this all the way over to where the rods are, because that's where we want to kind of do mainly our base, right? Is in that little bit of a flat area down there. So I put that to there, face that towards me, and then that should create the curve. Boom. Bada bing, bada bosh. I do need more convey belts. And I do need more plates. And after many, many plates later, it is now connected up. And I've added the belts coming in from the rods as well into this little bit of an area, which took near enough majority of the plates that we had. And I think it's a good little starting point and a little flat area for us to build some assembler sort of products. So... With assemblers, we can actually... Let's quickly build one. We can actually start doing some more advanced items that require two inputs. As you know, and like like you, you can in Satisfactory. Um, so just wait for that to get built. And then I'm going to put that into my inventory just there. So let's have a look at this. And then... In, all right, this needs to be powered, doesn't it? All right, it's powered on the, the bloody floor bits. Configure. But we can see this can do near enough every single thing that we can build. It can even get smelters being built. We can do everything. Anything that can be handcrafted can be automated. 
So we do have drone miners. I think the, the, the first thing we want to go for is our basic components, right? We want machinery parts, we want wire coil, and we want some tech uh, electronic components. So it looks like plates are going to go straight to machinery parts. Wire coil is going to go straight to... Well, sorry. Um, techno mods is going to go straight to wire coil. But we need to get the conveyor distributor, which is basically a splitter. So if we get this, we can put one item in, which will be the rods, and the rods can go down to conveyor belts. So nothing's going to be like super, super tidy like we normally are uh, for the... like for now but we're going to kind of keep it well spaced out so we can actually advance right so we can kind of understand what's going on so first of all we're going to put down our conveyor belt here um which we're going to rotate you around and then put you to there and then i'm going to bring you in because first thing i want to do here is i want to get a storage down uh, and I want to put a storage down on both of these. But guess what? I need to go and get some more plates. So yeah, I forgot I can actually just take them straight off the belt, which I need to do because my storage crate is empty over there because they're kind of slowly making their way down. But we need to up the productivity as well. And I've noticed if we do hit this, we don't just pick up one. We're picking up two at the same time. So we can just spam, which makes it so much easier. Uh, so now I can put down the storage crate. I want two of them. I want the panel to be on this side, like that. And then what we want from here is we're going to want a output, then into a input, then going into a uh, assembler. Then you coming out of the building and then going into another storage building right like so so then if we connect all this up with belts put that into there put you into there this is all powered and then what we're going to want to do is set this so it makes machinery parts right so if that's making machinery parts we want this to be an output that is to be an intake that's going in there. And we can see plates are now being made into machinery parts. But we are going to run out of plates because we're not making enough. So what I'm going to do is in the storage here, you need to be set to an output. We're going to actually limit the actual stacks we can do, right? Wait, are you outputting? Oh, what am I? You spoon bits. Let me remove that. I need to put on input here don't i so now i need to put the storage down again like that you're the output you're the input connect you up now we should have machine parts beautiful so that's kind of like our first automation line set up next let's start working on the wire so i believe it's just gonna be exactly the same but what we're going to want to do is we want to prepare for when we get the actual um, splitter here. So we're going to go the same again with one storage. We're going to put that here because I want to create a two foundation pathway so we can access any of these that we need to. And I never want to kind of bring it out here. I, want, I always want to take it out, but we, we, we can't confirm or deny that yet. Because we don't know what we've got to come, right? But one thing we do need to do is output more plates. So we're going to do exactly the same for this one. So we're going to grab a output here. But then we're going to leave a gap of two. And then we're going to spin this around like so. And we're going to put that into there. This then allow me to put the splitter into this location i'm gonna guess it's a it's a two let's have a look at the picture it does seem like it could be a four or maybe a yeah it looks like a four block so if it is a two by two it can go there input can go in output that way and an output this way then we need to bend this this way to go into another line so that does mean i do need to make let's get two more assemblers being made so i don't have to wait for one later and then i want to place you down 
on this side with the panel here. So we've got some room. Maybe I could push it in one more. Yeah, let's push it in one more. Let's put it there. And then that's going in. But for now, this is just going to go uh, intake. That's going to go to outtake. Belt along there like this. Um, and then on this side, we're going to get the belt on the intake here. So, which means I need to grab you to come along here. And then you into there. And you're set to intake. You're going to go into storage. You're going to output and go straight into the assembler, which I want you to start making me some wire. That means we have wire being made. Next, we basically need to get some more research so we can get this splitter up and running. Because as we can see, this is actually slowing down right here. So we are producing more rods than we're actually consuming in this machine. Does it actually tell us? It kind of just... Not really, does it? 40 a minute we're getting in on rods. And we need... And we're making 80 a minute on wire coil. So because we, we are... Thing, yeah, I, I, we need to figure out more of the stats and the numbers for things, right? So I'll get 40 a minute and 40 output. That seems like it's a one-to-one -one ratio. But at least the batteries are doing their job. And we can see that the total... Total storage charge is actually going up. So we've got 652 megajoules and the actual uh, battery capacity holds 1,000. So well, that's not bad. Not bad at all. But if we look at the grid stats, we can see the batteries are receiving, well, about 700 kilowatts per second, I'll guess. And that we're consuming 500, well, 400, 500, 450. Say 450. So with us not actually storing any plates... Let's expand onto this section over here, which is the plate section. The biomass doesn't need to be here now, so we can actually remove that. But I suppose it's there for backup. These are actually digging pretty deep now. Holy craps. But I think what we're going to have to do is build some more flooring. I need another smelter. Wait, if I put a more... Are you just not receiving ore? It looks like you're not receiving ore. What if I was just to double your input? Will that help you? Can I do that for you? Let's extend this th this way then. And then make a drone miner. And then wait for that to be built. And then I'm going to put down... You there. Uh, and then bring you all the way along here like this. And then get the input to have building there like that. And then Bob's your uncle. We're now putting it in there more ore than need be. And it looks like it's balanced out. So we can see now it's just staying on, constantly on six. So this is a two to one, it seems. But I suppose what is going to be changing about this is how fast these drones get from there to there, right? Because if the iron ore is coming up by this block here, they don't have that much to travel, which will reduce the speed. So one thing we need to take and uh, well take care of is when these start getting too far away, is actually start moving this further and further in, which does mean that's going to be a pain in the butt, especially when we've got a lot of machines about. But I'm s but I'm still wondering if we should still put down another smelter. But if I put another down, another smelter. I need to put down two more miners. And I think this is going to go way too fast. And I don't see any more iron. None whatsoever, in fact. Like, I can see Technum there. I can see Reservoir there. So, all you might. But I don't see any more... What's it called? Xenoferrite, which is for our iron. So, we need, need to travel and bring that in. But I love how we can see everything on the map. So red is obviously conveyor belts, which is cool. Blue is a building and green is power. But what I'm going to do is, because I forgot to do it, I need to put this back in. So I'm going to lock that there. I only want 400 machine parts being stored. So once that gets to 200, no more machine parts will get made. They'll probably just get, they'll, they'll get stored in here, in fact. And then the plates will then get stored into here. So that is going to take some time. 
So after a quite a bit of time later, I made the conveyor distributor. We have got quite a few things stored now. As you can get 460 in there, 1,296 in there, and I've got loads of plates and rods for kind of like life right now. One thing I've just noticed, I don't have a storage here. I don't have a stu- Why, Bits, are you like this? Why? So that means I've now got to ex- Oh, ha ha, no. I don't want to build all them. Jesus. Expand my foundation. I can then just build that along here. Like so. Then I need two more loaders. And I'm going to need one more storage bin. Which is there. And then... Wait for this to get... Oh, I've got to wait for... I wonder what that was then. Da, 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 da. <laughs> no, we're not doing that again. We're not doing that again. That was part of the first one. We're not doing that meme again. Da <laughs> no. Well, let's just wait for these goddamn plates to be done. And then I can put the uh, loaders here. And... Bada bing! Bada bosh! You know what it's... You know how it goes. I want... Actually... I want any of you to comment. Are any of you actually saying that now? Like, because I've been saying it since early Satisfactory when I've been uh, doing it. Even on the streams, I've been saying it. So if you are saying that, let me know in the comments below. Do it. So I want to place that there. I want to swing that round there. And then I need my storage bin, which is there. Wait, no. There. And pull you into there like this conveyor belt flip de -da -de -do, into there and then you to be outtake and the noise is back again i lowered the sound of this you are too loud actually let's do this here as well do that there and now what we want to look at is 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 the next recipe right which technically is i got the hiccups Wire coil and technum rods. So, we need to look at, look at, look at the splitter, which is this, which we can make one. And we only need the one. So, we'll wait for that to pop into our inventory. And there it is. It is a 4x4. Four four. Perfect. Okay, so I can't over... Oh, I didn't know that. You can place stuff over and it kind of automatically goes above. Cool. Anyway. Let's remove that, that, then bring in the good old distributor, put that into the, yes, it is the thing, cool. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this back to back, I think, like this. Then I need to make myself another loader. Let's make about 10 of them because we seem to be using a lot because you use technically two at once right and then we're going to bring the belt this way to there and then we're going to get our loader and spin you there right so that now is the rods going into this we're going to get this to be set to electronic components recipe right so you're now receiving rods are you maybe it needs the coils at the same time anyway um Let's get, rotate that there, bring you to there, and then bring you this way, right? Like that. And then change you to out output. And then, there we go. We now have electronic components being made, which means we have a little bit of a factory going. I wish I could fly right now to show you an overhead. That's something I love about what I can do in Satisfactory is fly over. And it's something I'm kind of known for. I just went, Wee. But anyway, we have now got a little bit of stuff done. We've got some research done. And that does mean we are going to end it here. So guys, check out this content right here. If you are interested in something else other than factory games like Story, this is The Quarry. Very good game. Check it out. But also, check out the recommended content here. It's trying to push you from my channel. And uh, yeah, keep smiling. And I'll see you in the next video.